Hey guys, today I want to show you how I prepare my AI art as printable wall art to sell on Etsy. In a previous video, I demonstrated how to use Figma for this process, but after receiving a feedback from Zach J. Trems, he mentioned that he used PhotoP and found it really intuitive. So I had to give it a shot and yeah, I found it to be even easier and quicker than the process that I've shown you. So in this video, I'm going to show you a new process of sizing your AI art using PhotoP. I personally use Photoshop but I understand that not everyone may have it. So that's why I'm going through the process using PhotoP, which is the free version of Photoshop. I believe this will be helpful for those starting their own printable shop. So make sure to watch until the end as it is crucial to prepare your files correctly to have a successful printable store. Before we dive into the process, let's take a quick look at the common sizes customers look for when buying printable wall art on Etsy. If we look at some of the best sellers, we can see in their descriptions the sizes they offer. Every store has their own preference on the files they offer. And I can tell you that the common practice here is to provide files in this 5 aspect ratio. This is done so to allow for different customers' preference and needs. Now, if you have never heard of expect ratio before, don't worry, I'll explain to you in detail. I've created this document listing the 5 expect ratios and the most common sizes associated with them. Feel free to access them in the description below in case you need a reference or a guide. Basically, expect ratio is a term that describes the shape of an image and is the ratio of its width to its height. For example, a 2 by 3 aspect ratio means the image has a width of 2 and a height of 3. 4 by 5 means a width of 4 and a height of 5 and so on and so forth. So in order to help customers who want to print our art in different sizes, we'll provide a file in the largest size for each aspect ratio category. For instance, for an aspect ratio of 2 by 3, we'll size our art at 20 by 30 inches. This will allow the customers to scale down the art if needed without losing any quality. That means with a 2 by 3 ratio file, customers will receive a 20 by 30 inches art and they can choose to freely scale down to any size below that. And that goes the same for the other ratios as well. Personally, these are the sizes that I offer based on my experience with customers' requests. You can decide on the sizes to offer based on your own preference. That being said, we'll have a total of 5 digital files to upload on Etsy, each representing the 5 expect ratios. Now, to make it easier for you to prepare your files, I've created 5 Photoshop templates in the corresponding expect ratio sizes. I've placed them in this Google Drive folder along with the expect ratio document which you can access with the link in the description below. What you need to do is simply download all of them and open it whenever you want to prep your files. So to open them, head over to photop.com, highlight all the files and drag it into PhotoP like this. This will automatically open up all the files for you. Okay, so for the first example, I'm going to use this image that I've created in the expect ratio 2x3 which I've generated using Midjourney AI. I usually create the art in 2x3 ratio since that's the most popular size for posters or wall art. Let's start with the 2x3 ratio file. I'm going to drag my original artwork into PhotoP like this. The image is going to be placed in the middle automatically. And you should see points appearing on the sides for you to resize it. If you don't see that, open up the layer panel by clicking on the icon here. Click on the layer with your image and press Ctrl Alternate T. This should activate the free transform tool that allows you to freely scale your image. After that, just resize it to fit the canvas. You may experience some lag, which is normal because this is a big image file. Since my artwork is in 2x3 ratio, it makes sense for it to perfectly fit it into this canvas. Now, remember to export it whenever you're done with your art to prevent any loss of work in case photo P crashes. And yes, it happened to me quite a few times. So to do that, click on File, hover over Export As and select JPEG as the format. Ensure that the quality is set to 100% and then click Save. Now we are done with the 2 by 3 ratio file. Let's move on to the next ratio files. There's a few ways that you can do. One way is to click on the next ratio file and drag your artwork into it like how we did before. Or we can quickly copy the layer into the other ratio file 
By selecting the image layer, drag and drop it into the next ratio file on the top panel like so. You should also see the file highlighted in blue, confirming that you want to copy the layer into that project. Okay, now here is where it gets tricky for expect ratio 4x5. We need to fill the white gap by resizing the image, which can be done in two ways. We can enlarge the image, but this may result in some parts of the art being cut off, or we can extend the sides by holding the shift key when resizing, but this may result in the art looking stretched out. Unfortunately, this is a common issue with AI art because we cannot simply ask the AI to recreate the same piece of art in different sizes. So what I'll do in this situation is to try and find the right balance between stretching and enlarging the image to ensure that it doesn't look too stretched while avoiding cutting out too much of the image. So something like this, and you can see here, it still look quite similar to the original 2x3 artwork. Personally, I've been doing it this way and haven't seen any problems with customers so far. This issue we're facing mainly affects 4x5 and 11x14 since their width is much wider as compared to 2x3. I'm not exactly sure how to avoid this completely, but recently I've watched Brandon Timothy's resizing video and he mentioned that he creates his original artwork in 3x4. So I thought maybe creating my original artwork in 3x4 might fix this, but it didn't. Let me show you an example. I have this image that I've created in the 3x4 ratio and let me drag it into the 4x5 ratio file. I'm going to resize it by stretching the sides and you'll see that the image doesn't look too bad. Now, I'm going to resize it for the 2x3 ratio by dragging it into the file like this, stretch the image back down and you can see the image appears very squished, which I think looks pretty bad. So yeah, we are back to square one with the issue. And if you were to ask me, I prioritize the art for expect ratio 2x3 since that's the most popular size customers look for. That being said, it's also not the end of the world. Another option to approach this is to create the AI art on a solid background color. For example, I have this piece of artwork with a white background. I've created this image with this prompt. You can simply add your choice of color background into the prompt and most of the time it'll work. I'm going to drag the image into the 4x5 ratio file and since I can change the background to match the color of the artwork, I don't need to worry about the art being affected when I resize it. If I want, I can also reuse the magic eraser to remove the background of the art and choose any color I want as the background. This way, I'll have more control over the artwork overall. And I think this is the best way to create your digital artwork as it wouldn't affect the look of your art regardless of the size. So that's something that you have to figure it out yourself. So to finish up, let me just quickly show you the resizing for the other ratio files. And there you have it. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I'm constantly on the lookout to improve my process and I'll share it with you guys whenever I have new updates. Now before I go, I just want to thank you all for 800 subscribers as it really meant a lot to me. I appreciate your support and without it, I wouldn't be able to continue making videos like this. Also, please like this video so I know that this is the type of content you guys want to watch. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.